I think lack of uh, real evident use cases is something that we see as a real barrier to getting new people into the space. People in the space currently really already know the tech, they know why they're in it, but actually convincing the next wave of developers to get into blockchain is something that we're really focused on. And the way that we're doing that is by showing developers the different use cases that exist out there, um, because we've seen people still don't really know why you would actually build something on the blockchain as opposed to building it on the regular Web2 interfaces that already exist. Yeah, I think one of the really cool things about Polkadot is not only the tech, but also the different use cases that are currently being built on top of Polkadot, whether it's different parachains, different ecosystem teams building different projects. Um, I think that there's tons of different um, use cases being demonstrated. And I think the fact that Polkadot's so broad, it's not really just focused on one particular niche like a lot of other chains have gone to focus on. Um, that's what makes it really exciting. And that's also what we try and do with EZA in terms of letting people know about the different potential, the different sort of parachains that exist in the space from NFTs to DeFi applications, all sorts of things can be done on Polkadot. And that's uh, something that we find really exciting. It's definitely complicated tech in some respects, but I think, you know, ultimately at EZA, we're here to make it easy uh, for anyone to learn about Web3. And I think, you know, where a lot of people get tripped up on again is, you know, just getting started. I think, you know, when you come into Web3, you see all these different layer ones, layer twos out there. But ultimately, you know, why are you going to settle on one particular um, ecosystem? That's what a lot of people find challenging. Um, but I think, you know, that's again why we created EZA, to make it easy for you to figure out which ecosystem you want to drive into. Um, and ultimately, Polkadot is right there in the app front and center. So uh, if you want to figure out, you know, where to build, what to build, how to build, uh, that's a really great place to go. And you should definitely, um, definitely go there and, and check it out. I think the Polkadot community has been amazing. Uh, it's been great to be part of the community over the last couple of years as well. And just over the last couple of years, seeing it grow, seeing all the different chains as well, take their ideas to the next level, seeing them you know, also expand and branch out into different ecosystems is really cool uh, because it kind of you know, just increases the talent range, increases the uh, options of what can actually be built on Polkadot.